In the late days of May, we heard a rumor that Google was going to buy Twitch. The same company that already owns the most popular video sharing site, email client, search engine, app store, map client, and that is just scraping the tip of the iceberg. You also have them looking into new technology such as driveless cars and innovative glasses. So it would only be logical to think that they would add the largest video streaming site to that list, giving Google the keys to basically the entire market for watching and viewing video games. And after numerous reports, three months went by with pretty much no news, until the late days of August which led us to a confirmed story. Amazon had purchased Twitch for $970 million, just a bit smaller than the unconfirmed Google bid of $1 billion. So why was it such a big deal that Google didn't buy this company? It's not like they're a shady company anyway, they've done a lot of innovation in their time, and for the most part, we like their products. The truth is, it would have knocked out the only competitor when it comes to viewing gaming related content, Twitch.tv. Which leads me to the main motive of this video, why competition is essential. See, when you're alone in a market, you have a tendency to be complacent, which means you're in your comfort zone. And that's probably the worst thing that can happen to you when you're running a company, and here's an example of why. Let's say you're making an advertisement, and your company is the only one in the entire world who makes advertisements, and you get, say, 10,000 clicks. You're probably like, wow, that's really good at first, but you never know if there's any better tactics out there, and you don't want to risk it either because you're comfortable. 10,000 seems pretty good. And that's the problem. We don't want our products to be pretty good, we want them to be great. So when, an so when another advertiser comes along and gets 20,000 clicks, you have to rethink, you have to change something, you have to innovate. And it's that innovation that has led to computers, smartphones, web platforms, you can go back even further with the cotton gin, motor vehicles, space exploration, all of these have improved as a result of competition. And we like to think that companies in the same market are separate, but really they have a huge influence on one another. I read an article a while back called 12 McDonald's menu items that failed, and you're probably like, why the fuck am I talking about McDonald's now? But you'll see the point in a second. So, some of these items that failed included the McLobster, the McPizza, the McSpaghetti, and the list just went on and on from there. Now, after seeing these products fail, do you really think Wendy's or Burger King is going to try out the exact same thing? No. They might throw it aside, or they might decide to completely revamp it, which leads to original thinking, innovation, everything along those lines. And it's the same reason we study wars in history class. We don't want to repeat past mistakes, which essentially helps companies as well as consumers. And it's not always looking to see what failed either, because Google most likely added live streaming to YouTube because of the success of Twitch. It didn't take off as much as they wanted it to, but maybe they'll find a new, original way to build off it, and I'm sure Twitch tried to improve their website as a direct result of that addition too. So as long as these two companies stay separate, each of them have to continually work on their live streaming features. Maybe they'll get higher paying ads which will help content creators or better loading times, stuff like that. All of which wouldn't be necessary if Google owned pretty much the whole live streaming market. And Twitch wasn't too big of a threat before, obviously, because YouTube had some incredible traffic statistics. But now Twitch is going to be run by the giant company of Amazon, who's slowly making an upcoming in this industry, and has some great resources for Twitch. And over the past few months, the users haven't exactly been happy with the changes that have been made uh, to YouTube. Many YouTubers disabled their comments as a result of the new comment system. So now with another company coming up, they have to work hard to make sure that these issues are fixed and everybody's happy, so really, it's a win-win for both sides. If Google had bought Twitch, it would have helped them in the immediate time, they would have got a lot more traffic, but for the long run, now these two companies can battle it out, which in return should give us better products, better solutions, and more care for their users from both of the companies. So hopefully, now instead of focusing on immediate success and profit, both of these companies will need to look at the grand scheme of things and realize that to beat the other, they have to be the best, the fastest, the most intriguing, the most efficient, and there's no way you can accomplish all of this by staying in your comfort zone.